Dear tankers, welcome to the 10th devlog of Tank Squad. We have added yet another Tiger this time, it is a special commander version. We had been planning to add this particular tank for a long time, and while creating the E version, the time was right. Apart from the obvious visual changes, such as the radio antennae on the turret and the hull, we have added a few other details, such as wood beams on the sides, a slightly different layout of the equipment on the hull, and additional links on the front of the tracks, at the height of the plate, where the driver's visor is located. In addition to cosmetic changes, the addition of the command tank adds new elements to the gameplay. This unit type allows us to make a mobile spawn point, much needed when the battle maps are large. The command tank will be most expensive and will be top priority for enemy AI AT guns and tanks. Use it wisely. We are in the process of finalizing our last area for the German campaign. In this mission, you will have to break through the last fortifications on the way to Prokhorovka. The maps in this area will be full of Soviet fortifications and barricaded crossings. The Soviets have had the most time to prepare their tactics here, so it will be a challenging series of clashes. On the visual side, the maps in this area are the most polished, as this was the first set of missions we prepared for Tank Squad. In addition to our last dev status and dev log, we have mentioned that we will add an X-ray system that show information, for example, penetration of enemy tank. X-ray system shows also which modules has been damaged or destroyed as well, showing the current crew count. Here it is a work in progress footage showcasing current stage of this feature. Follow our development progress on Steam, join our Discord community and be part of the Tank Squad. See you next time.